Hello everyone. Today we are going to cover the concept of payment terms. First, we will be defining payment terms in transaction code OBB8. Then we will maintain that payment terms in vendor mass data in XK01. Then we will be posting a vendor invoice in FB60 and execute the payment towards that invoice in F110 and display the payment document generated in F110 using transaction code FP03 and see how the configuration in payment terms is reflecting in our payment document. Later, we will be repeating the above steps by altering the, altering the baseline date and the discount percentage in payment terms screen like different options relating to baseline date are no date selected, posting date, document date, entry date. These four options will be altering and see how these options are reflecting, changes related to these options are uh, impacting the payment document. Before going to payment terms screen, let us see what is payment terms. The payment terms includes conditions by which the baseline date is calculated and the amount of the discount is calculated. What is baseline date? It is the starting date for calculation to find the due date of the invoice. And discount terms include different percentages for different dates from baseline date. So let's go to our payment term screen OBB8 and see how to define our payment terms. OBB8 here we can see the list of the payment terms already provided by SAP 0000 and 0001002 with different discount terms we can see what we can do here is that select any payment terms and click on copy change the payment terms name set 009 testing Keep customer and vendor checked. Select default for baseline date as document date and payment terms discount percentage keep as it is 10% if paid within 10 days, 5% if paid within 20 days, 30% due net. So, what does it mean? If the invoice is paid within 10 days, there will be a 10% of discount. If the invoice is paid within 20 days, there will be 5% of discount. If it is paid after 30 days or 30th day, there will not be any discount. So, hit enter, click on save, click on OK. Go inside and check if all the data is saved or not. Click on save and go back. So we have created our payment terms Z009. Let's go to XK01 and create a new vendor and update our payment terms. 200 reference vendor. Hit enter. Title company. Testing. search term testing hit enter hit enter again again here in payment terms click F4 and select our payment term just know we created Z009 where is our Z009 here and save. Make sure that payment method is also updated. Here we can find payment method T. Save. So our vendor 120051 is created. Let's go to FB60 and post 
okay vendor invoice 120051 invoice date 26 11 20 double 2 amount 10000 text any expense gl account amount hit enter click on simulate click on save so we have successfully posted our vendor invoice 1081 let's go to screen fb03 and display the vendor invoice fiscally 2022 here we can see 10,000 rupees is posted to vendor 120051 double click on it here we can see our payment terms Z009 is updated successfully now go to screen F100 execute the payment sorry F110 and it today's date test enter parameters our company code payment method t next payment run our vendor invoice number vendor number 120051 go to additional log due date check payment method line items printouts select any variant save yes so parameters have been entered click on create proposal click on ok hit enter click on change proposal click on ok here Actually, we posted invoice amount of 10,000 but actual payment amount is we can see 9,000 only. Why? Because there is a discount of 1,000 rupees. Where? Here we can see 9,000 is paid to this vendor 120051. Actually, invoice amount was that FP03. FP03. Invoice amount is 10,000, but the payment is 9,000. Why? Because this 10,000 is reduced by 1,000 rupees of discount, 10% of discount, and paid to this vendor. Go back, click on payment run, click on OK, hit enter. So, postings ordered, one generated, one completed click on payment here we can see three line items twenty five is ten thousand rupees reversed vendor vendor line item is reversed and credit amount is nine thousand rupees bank account this nine thousand is bank account this one thousand is discount and go to ap03 and see the payment document ap03 10982 here we can see vendor is debited and credited by outgoing bank account and discount account how this amount of 1000 rupees is determined by using our payment terms go to our payment terms o b b h click on position z009 double click here we specified that we will be allowing 10 percent of the discount if the invoice is paid within 10 days here we have cleared the invoice the day which we created 
creation date is equal to the payment date. So 10% discount is allowed. 10% of 10,000 is 1,000 rupees. This is subtracted and this amount is paid. Now let's go to our payment terms and change this baseline date from document date to any, any other option. Let's take I'm changing it to no default date. Click on save. What will happen is that if we select this option no default date while we enter the invoice vendor invoice it will prompt us to enter the baseline date. Why? Because we are not specifying any date. We are having three options document date, entry date and posting, posting date. Document date is the date which will appear on the physical document. Posting date is the date which we want the system to record the data. And entry date is the actual system date. We cannot enter this manually. It will auto capture. So no, no default date. When you select this option, we have to manually enter the baseline date in FB60 screen. Let's go to FB60 and see what will happen. IP60 vendor number invoice date any amount testing any expense GL account hit enter so here we can see that specify payment period baseline date click on that specify payment period baseline date why it is asking since we have not selected any of these options document date, posting date, entry date. Hit any uh, enter any date 0101 112022. Click on save. Document 1083 was posted. Let's execute payment for this. Test to save parameters. Our company code, payment method, next payment date. Our vendor number, go to additional log, due date, payment method, line item, select any variant, click go to status, click on save, create a proposal, click on OK, hit enter, change the proposal, OK. So 5000 rupees we can save, our invoice is successfully pulled. Here we can see the entire 5000 rupees of amount is paid to the vendor. There is no discount. Why double click on this line item? Again, double click. Here we can see that baseline date is 1st of November. This is the date we entered while we were creating the vendor invoice number in FB60, 1st of November. But according to our payment terms, if the invoice is paid within 10th of the November, we will be having 10% of the discount. Similarly, if it is paid within 20th of the November, we will be having 5% of the discount. But what happened? We have paid the invoices after 20th of this. We paid on 26th. Our system date is 26th. We paid on 26th. So there is no discount, zero discount. So the entire amount of the invoice is pulled for payment. Entire 5000 rupees. What is the invoice amount? Go back. 1083. So 5000 rupees amount. This entire amount is pulled for payment. Go back. Again. Click on payment run. Okay. Hit enter. So one generated, one completed. Click on, click on payment. So, vendor is paid with 5000, 25 vendor payment, 50 bank account number. Now, 
let's go to our payment terms again and change the baseline date to some other option this time i'm selecting as a posting date select this posting date and click on save go back now again post the vendor invoice this time the system will not ask us to enter the baseline date it will consider this posting date 26 11 2022 this is invoice date documented invoice date is nothing but documented posting date is 26 11 2022 let's uh, do one thing make it as 10 days before 16 or 17th we can make 15 11 2022 posting date enter amount for testing purpose i am entering different posting date other than today's date enter any expense gl account hit enter simulate this time the system has not asked us to enter the baseline date click on save 1085 document is created go to fb03 hit on enter So 10,000 rupees posted. Entered on 26. Posting date is 15 11 2022. So from this date, the discount parameters will be applicable. If it is paid within 10 days, 10% will be applicable. If it is paid after 10 days, but before 20 days, 5% will be applicable. Let us paid on 26th and see how the discount is applied. Go to automatic payment program F110 Test 4 Go to parameters tab Give company code Payment terms Next payment date Give your vendor number Go to additional log And select due date payment method and line item go to printouts tab select any variant hit enter go to status click on save click on create a proposal start immediately create payment method ok hit enter click on change proposal click on ok here our invoice amount was 10,000 but the amount which we are paying now is 9,500 which means that a 5% of discount is applied how double click invoice amount we can see 10,000 again double click 15th is the baseline date and the payment is done on 26th so it, it is falling within 20 days if, if 10 days is applied 25th, if it is paid 25th or before 25th, 10% is applied. Since we are paying after 25th, it is falling under 20 days category and 5% is applied. 5% of 10,000 is 500 rupees. Cash discount 5%. Click on back, go back, click on payment run. Okay. Hit enter. Payment. Here we can see that. 10,000 rupees is vendor payment and 500 discount and 9,500 is bank payment go back so we have successfully tested the scenario of no due date no due date posting date and uh, this these are similar things and treated the date is taken as a baseline date and these dates are applied and again this percentage is considered on that these are similar things.